Okay, we're going to continue on developing this circle class. So if we take a look at our assignment here, we see that first thing it asks us to do is write a constructor that has no parameters. So if we take a look at our code as it currently stands, we see that there's no constructor inside of here. And this is an important idea. And that is, if no constructor is put inside of a class, Java automatically creates a default one that sets integers to zero, any objects to null, strings to null, doubles to zero, booleans to false, and chars to space. Okay. So you don't have to memorize necessarily right now what it sets everything to, but the key idea to know is that if there's no constructor, there's a default one. So if we go back to our circle runner, and let's just build this, and we look here, we see there's my constructor right here. And so if that's my constructor, I, I look and I say, oh, well, there is no constructor. Remember, because no constructor has been written, one exists in there. That's been, sorry, if because no constructor has been written, there's a default one that's used. We just don't see it. But we want to be able to construct our own objects. So I'm going to write a constructor that has no parameters. So we need to write this constructor. And the constructor goes inside the actual class that we want to construct an object from. So with the constructor, it always starts with public. But the first thing that's different about a constructor method, and we said it's a special method, is that there's no return type. The second thing that's special about it is that it always has the same name as the class. So we have public circle, there's no parameters, I open and close. And now I can set my initial value. So I can say x is equal to 1 if I wanted, y is equal to 1 if I wanted, r is equal to 1 if I wanted, and I'm going to set the color equal to color dot black. And so this is a now the default constructor. So if I go into here, in the, the last video, if I called this constructor, because there is no constructor written, it would set everything to zero, booleans to false, strings and objects to null. But now, because it looks, it says, ah, you actually have a constructor here, it's going to use this constructor. So I build this, make sure it builds. And so now if I run this file, still nothing happens that we see. But again, we can think of it from a memory diagram perspective. C1 is going to get the value 1, 1, 1, and this is going to be the color black. And C2 is going to get the value 1, 1, 1, and this is going to be the color black. So let's take a look at what they want us to do next. So next we want to write a constructor that has three parameters representing the coordinates of the center and the radius of the object to be constructed. The color should stay set to black. So again, I want to write a new constructor, and to do that, I would do that in my class file. And I'm going to put my constructor just underneath the last constructor. So I go public, circle, and I want to take three parameters. So int a, int b, int c. And I go x equals a, y equals b, r equals c, and col equals color dot black. So now, I have a second option of a constructor. Instead of using this, this constructor that takes no parameters, I can take this constructor that takes three parameters. So if I go into here, if I wanted to make a circle C4, so let's do it below C3 just to make it look nice and organized. If I wanted to go to circle C4 equals new circle, I could now say 4, 9, 4. So this would, this would construct a circle with this, with this x of 4, a y of 9, and an r of 4. So what we've done is we've overloaded the constructors, meaning that we have two constructors or methods with the same name, but Java can distinguish between them by the parameters that are required. So we go in here, let's just build this. And we're good. So now, let's take a look what's next. 
So we want to write a constructor that has four parameters representing the coordinates of the center, the radius, the circle, circle and the color of the circle. So I'm going to jump into here. I'm going to write my constructor again just below it. So I'm going to say public circle int a int b int c. And now I have to pass a color. So I'm going to say color d. And I have x is equal to a, y is equal to b, r is equal to c, and col is equal to d. So if I build this now to check, builds no problem. I can go into circle runner and I can create a new circle called C5 that equals new circle and I can pass it 3, 6, 9 and I can pass it say color dot red. Oh, C A R C L So I build this. That works perfectly. So now, just to look at a memory diagram, I now have a C4 and a C5. And I think, so we have an X, a Y, an R, and a color. An X, a Y, an R, and a color. X, Y, R, color. X, Y, R, color. And if we take a look back in here, to check our code again, we see C4 has 494. So that's going to go 494 black. And we see that C5 goes 369 red. 369 red. Okay. In the next video, we'll keep moving forward with the assignment.